Hello, 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 good morning people, and today, this day is so clear today, the sun is so, so, so shine today, I think that the sun uh, will be very warm, warm today, uh, or hot today, but um, like every single day, we got a lecture from Bhagavad Gita, as it is, from Srila Prabhupada, uh, in the chapter 3, text Text 5. Then it's titled Karma Yoga, Action with Krishna Consciousness. Translation. Everyone is forced to act helplessly according to the qualities he has acquired from the mood of material nature. Therefore, one can, one, one not can refrain from doing something, nor even for a moment. Purpose, purpose by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada uh, It is not a question of embodied life, but it's, it is the nat nature of the soul to be always active. Without the presence of the spiritual soul, the material body cannot move. The body is only a dead vehicle to be worked by the spirit soul which is always active and cannot stop even for a moment. As such, the spiritual soul has to be engaged in the, in the good work of Krishna consciousness, otherwise it will be engaged in occupation dictated by the illusory energy. In contact with the material energy, the spiritual soul acquires material moods. And to purify the soul from such affinities, it is necessary to engage in the prescribed duties, and join in the uh, and join, and join it in the sastras. But if the soul is engaged in his natural function of Krishna consciousness, whatever he is able to do is good for him. The Srimad Bhagavatam 1.5.17 affirms this Taktva Sua Dharman Saranam Bhujan Harir Bhajan Apokvatva Tapate Tatu Jadi Yatra Kwa Abadran Abudmanu Syakin Kovarta Akto Vajatan Sua Dharmata If someone takes to Krishna consciousness even doubt he may not follow the prescribed duties in the Sastra or execute the devotional service properly even uh, an even doubt he may fall down from the standard there is not loosed or evil from him but if he carry, carries out all the injunction for purification in sastra what does he avail him if he is not krishna conscious so the purificatory process is to help reach the ultimate goal of becoming which everything is considered a failure. Uh, this verse uh, in this description is so so meaningful. That's a that's a that's meaningful description that that is giving that is that is giving Sila Prabhupada here. But uh, uh, it's like this, if one person is not Krishna consciousness, uh, his, his, action, his action will be always a failure. failure. But uh, if a person is, is, is acting in Krishna consciousness, always, always is good for him, or uh, even though, even though if he if he don't uh, uh, made made uh, the all uh, rule and regulation perfectly, even though it is proper is properly for him and always is uh, good for him in all aspect. But uh, if if not Krishna consciousness, uh, always he was uh, living his living his life in a concoction, in a mental concoction or intent of the, of, of the illusory energy of the Lord. But in other words, a person of, with Krishna consciousness, a, he, is, he is always acting under, the, the, under and for the satisfaction or 
the supreme disciples, the supreme person of Godhead. In the other way, that is the more the more highest highest platform that one person can can obtain in this human form of life. Uh, that is the that is the real difference between one person that that is engaged in Krishna consciousness and, and another that is not in Krishna consciousness. And this uh, chapter that is titled Karma Yoga uh, today is uh, uh, talking talking about this point this point the real difference between these these two 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 kind of people. <laughs> But uh, in accordance to the sannyasi orders, the sannyasi orders uh, uh, in the last verse, in the last verse that was uh, reading before, the, the, that is the order that only, only he is acting to satisfy to satisfy the desire of the supreme personality of that head, uh, and avoiding, and avoiding uh, acting. To satisfy his one senses in one way, uh, physically or independent. That is the matter that I can uh, understand from today, from this verse from Bhagavad Gita. I hopefully that everybody had in in good, in good, in good, healthy. Um, God grace and God grace. Everybody is is. Um, in different uh, in different position in different position and, and working i hopefully that every that uh, uh, some some people have had uh, had the fortune had the, the fortune to be in contact with the great design of krishna consciousness that is no ordinary movement but uh, i start here thank you thank you everyone I hopefully uh, see you tomorrow if God give us a chance. Yeah, have a nice day, a wonderful day, everyone, and thank you for all. Hare Krishna.